In this video, I'm going to talk about tires. So, you know, uh, I have a Tesla Model X and uh, this car comes with a uh, standard from uh, from the factory. You know? It comes with the Michelin Latitude Sport 3. Um, at least in Europe, I don't know how it is in other regions, but here it's like this for the summer tires. And, you know, in Norway, we have winter and summer. So we use two sets of tires. We have one set of winter, like, well, actually, when I say tires, I mean wheels, because by definition, you know, the tire is the rubber. And then uh, we have the rim, and then the wheel is, you know, the rubber and the rim. Yeah. Uh, so we have two sets of wheels. We have the winter wheels and the summer wheels, right? So uh, I received this car in... Um, in July 2016, that's almost two years ago, and I ordered that car. I mean, well, I won the car, but that's another story. But I received the car with 22-inch summer tires because I wanted to test those, but I didn't like them. So um, I swapped them with some other dude who had some 20-inch. Um, so, But I still used them for the first season, that first summer season. And then when winter came, I put on the winter tires, and then... In 2000 and in spring 2017, I put on the the 20 inch summer tires, right? The Latitude Sport. Uh, I don't remember what it was, the 22. I think maybe the 22 might have been Pilot Sport, yeah. But similar tires. Um, so I have some experience with the tires from last year and this year. So I'm going to share with you guys. Um, and the reason why I make this video is because, you know. I experienced something like, like, like those tires wore down fast and it wasn't only me. I saw other people on Facebook, they were kind of like almost, you know, complaining about it. Like, it, what the heck happened? You know, why does it wear down so fast? Yeah, I think I would try to explain why in this video. So, um, on 8th of May this year, um, I checked the odometer and um, it was, you know, 146,000 something. And then I also measured how much tread I had in the front and the rear. And this was, I had some from last year, right? So I had five millimeters in the front and seven millimeter in the back. And then I drove a bit, I drive a lot. So uh, uh, 12th of June, a little over one month after, I came back to the to the tire shop. And you see, odometer has gone up uh, 157,000 kilometers now. And that is over 10,000 uh, kilometers driven. And then I measured again how much tread I had. And uh, the front was at 3 millimeters and uh, the back was at 4. So quick math is that um, uh, you, I actually lost 2 millimeters in front and 3 millimeters in the back after uh, only 10,000 kilometers. And all, at the same time, I measured branch banking new Michelin um, latitude right tires and they have 7 millimeters. And in Norway, we have, you know, by law that uh, in summer, the summer tires must have 1.6 millimeters as a minimum. If you have lower tread than that and you are involved in an accident, then you might get in trouble. Um, the insurance might, you know, not cover your damage because uh, the tires were not uh, legal. Yeah. And you can also be fined for having, you know, <laughs> driving around with slicks. Yeah, so many people, they, uh, okay, so the 1.6 millimeters is the minimum, but uh, many people recommend 3 millimeters as the minimum before you should consider replacing the tires. And since uh, the Michelin start with 7 millimeters, it means that you only have 4 millimeter of, you know, uh, wear there before you should replace them. And that means that the front tires on the Model X should last for about 20,000 kilometers, whereas the rear tires only last for uh, 13,000 kilometers. Why is that? Um, well, my car is a performance model, you know, it has a, a stronger rear motor. But I believe that uh, also the non-performance one, they, uh, I think the back wheels, they get more power when you accelerate, you know, the back wheels probably get slightly more power than the front. Uh, so that that might be the explanation why why uh, the wear in the back is greater than the front. Uh, but also also okay, keep in mind that I pull trailer a lot. But on the other hand, uh, the weight on the trailer hitch is not that much. It's like uh, you know, maybe like forty to seventy kilo, and I rarely have passenger or heavy items in the back here. So uh, you know my my type of driving. 
shouldn't uh, differ from many other people. But yeah, so uh, you know, the the first thing you might be thinking is that, well, okay, but you know, since the front tires wear down faster than the rear, then you could just you know, rotate them. Now, unfortunately, you can't do that because uh, you have a staggered uh, setup here, and staggered means that the front tires width is not the same as the rear tires width. So the front has 255 millimeters, and the rear has 275. You cannot rotate them. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, so that has some disadvantages, um, but let me talk a little bit about tread wear because I wasn't aware of this. Yeah, no, fun, no pun intended. Uh, until now, because um, the Michelin tires they have only 220 tread wear, and the tread wear is a number to indicate how durable the tire is. I talk about this before in another video, uh, but at least in this video I have some like more solid proof. I did some measurement, um, so. Um, you know, I mentioned that okay, I had some tires and uh, you know, I, I like I swapped some tires, right? Uh, and last year I had you know I had the 20 inch and I started using the 20 inch uh, Michelin tires, and suddenly after just like one 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 and a half months, uh, the rear tire was like down to almost illegal levels. I was like, whoa! I, I didn't expect that to happen so fast. So I quickly bought some tires on Finn.ano, which is like a marketplace for secondhand stuff. Or that, those tires were actually almost new. Um, so I bought the tires. I replaced the rear tire. I think actually I bought a set. I bought like because they are staggered, you know. I found someone who sold uh, four of those uh, 275 one, the, the wide ones. Yeah. So then I had actually had. A double set of rear tires ready because the rear tires will be eaten up faster than the front tires and it's like a bit of hassle there yeah because with the model s at least for the 19 inch uh you can rotate them because it's 245 for the front and the back yeah uh but so um anyway so the story was that last year uh it came like off guard that i run ran down the tire a little bit fast so i was like okay uh, i replaced them i bought some uh, second hand tires and then I started using them, um, uh, and also in panic, I bought a little bit more. I saw someone selling some tires. So like, okay, so so I, I ended up with six tires in my basement or in my storage. Um, when then winter came, and and yeah, I got rid of two of them. I sold two of the rare tires, and I had still a full set, front and back, you know, uh, and um, I wanted to try something different. I want to try another tire. Uh, so since I started to know these Mega Yule guys, um, I swapped them because I tried to sell these tires on Finn and nobody, nobody asked me to buy. They know they were interesting, and like I, I almost had to sell them with loss. You know, if I tried, I, I didn't want to dump these tires for too cheap either. So I set a reasonable price, but nobody wanted it. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but then Mega Yule. Swap them, so I swapped them for uh, Windrun. It's called Windrun R330, and they took the those uh, my old tires, and they can probably sell them as like demo tires or whatever, you know, not brand new, but like yeah, almost new tires. Um, so I wanted to try these Windrun tires, and the Windrun tires they have 420 tread wear, whereas the Latitude, had, uh, the, the, the Michelin only had 220, so it's almost twice as much tread wear, so it means that the lifetime should be almost twice as high. And also the Windrun tires, these are Chinese tires, they only cost half of the Michelin, so effectively uh, it's the quarter of the price yeah, for it. So that is good, uh, but you know the, more, the biggest advantage for me is that I don't have to run to the tire shop every like pretty much every month because you know I mentioned that I have staggered setup and the front and rear are never in sync you know the front will run out first and then I swap oh wait, sorry the rear will run out first I swap the rear and then it then it's time for the front to wear out and then I swap the front and it will always be like this unless uh, like I mentioned I had well in this example you know I mean in this case I had three millimeters in the front and four millimeters in the back so I could do like I guess many people do, which is to wear it down a little bit more because it's, it's still legal, but it's not it's not you know recommended. So I could wear it down. Um, let's say the rear 
I could wear down the rear until it was at 3 millimeters, but then the front will be at 2.5 or maybe closer to 2, which is not safe because then you have worse front tires, you know? You, you still have to brake and steer with the front tires and uh, for an, in war you could be a, you can have a higher chance of aqua planning so it's not good but again i did it uh, last year because um, i know that i knew that these tires were expensive and also they wore down so fast that uh, i didn't have time to like book uh, book an appointment and find some tires and you know all that stuff so it's cumbersome that they last so sh they have so short uh, lifetime um, but you know, uh, so with the new wind run tires, I already done uh, a long road trip last uh, weekend. I drove from Oslo to Bergen, Stavanger, and back again. That was 1,500 kilometers. I also done some local runs. So you know, th these tires are close to 2,000 kilometers already. So I have a little bit of experience with them. And my impression so far is that the wind run tires seem to be as quiet, maybe even qu more quiet than the. Um, the Michelin tires. The Michelin tires, they have that, that acoustic foam inside that will supposedly um, reduce noise. Uh, but I don't know, the, the, it could be a placebo effect. Uh, I want to test this, but I also get the impression that consumption is about the same. You know, I would notice if if these uh, Chinese tires was, had bad consumption, but we'll see. I mean, I pulled the trailer, so I didn't get the right impression. Uh, so I want to test this properly. Uh, but uh, yes, I want to test them as soon as I can to see how good they are. But uh, you know, you you're probably thinking, well, these Chinese tires, they must be crap because they are cheap and they are Chinese. Yeah, I'm Chinese, you know, half Chinese. But uh, I don't know. Um, I'm open for testing stuff, you know. And um, I started thinking, okay, so these companies or these like magazines or whatever, you know, website or whatever, they do these individual tests of tires. They always test brand new tires, you know? They don't test tires that have done 5,000 or 10,000 kilometers. So uh, yes, Michelin tires might score, you know, might be the best or one of the best when they are brand new. But keep in mind that only after, you know, um, 5,000 kilometers or 10,000 kilometers, they will be down to almost half the tread and then you don't have that uh, that initial like the, the good performance anymore uh, so I, and I'm not saying this just you know I'm just just it's not something I'm just saying out of nowhere because uh, I noticed last year that um, when I used the Michelin tires that especially in wet conditions it's it's you know it's when it is wet that it's kind of critical and I noticed in wet road that uh, the tires uh, I think back then it was the rear tires they started slipping in roundabouts and some some turns I was like whoa, whoa, whoa what the heck uh, and I don't know how much tread I had but it might be lower than recommended and well you know I know they were expensive so I draw them a little bit lower than I should yeah so in a minute before we know it could be that the Michelin are good but after 5,000 kilometers let's say that we can assume that okay Michelin might be better than the Windrun the cheap Chinese tires when they are brand new but after 5,000 kilometers or 10,000 kilometers Windrun might be better or eek or neck on neck with with the Michelin you know we don't know I have to test it one day yeah you know why why am I suddenly interested in uh, tires why because you know tires actually I realize that tires uh, are important because it's about consumption, it's about uh, noise and comfort, and also about safety. So um, it's not too safe to drive around with uh, you know bad tire. I mean worn out tires because they're expensive. So uh, I will try these like Chinese tires. I'll give them a I'll give them a chance, test them out, and I will find out if they are good or not. But last winter. I tested the Nereus and they were actually <laughs> they were pretty good on snow yes i had done some stuff with the snow with the Nereus so they work great uh i didn't i didn't have the chance to test too much on really like icy conditions but okay that's a different story with a with a Nereus uh but yes i might do some more tests uh next winter but at least for now i will test these uh chinese tires and find out whether they are good or not yeah
So yes, I hope this video was useful to you. Um, I mainly made this video because uh, some people, they were like, uh, including myself, <laughs> was almost shocked of how fast the tires wore out. And I also questioned Tesla why they they chose um, the, these Michelin tires with so poor um, tread wear. Like they could probably go for Nokian or Continental or maybe I you don't know whatever other tire that has more. Uh, tread wear. Why did they go for this one? I don't know. I don't know the mistake I did, and I think the mistake many people did is was that. Well, the came the car came with um, um, these um, uh, tires, Michelin. Yeah, they work great. Okay, they have this acoustic foam. I like them. They probably are quiet. So let's buy them again. You know. So it's almost like yeah, you can just buy the same tire. Yeah, but. Um, all right, I will try something else and we'll see. So there might be a follow-up video, but I also want uh, you guys' feedback because I want to know, do you guys find this interesting? Uh, should I still keep making them? Because I will still, I mean, even if you guys are not interested in this, then I will still make my own test for myself and I can just keep the, um, the result for myself. Or if you want, I can post the result and yeah, yeah. But I mean, because I want to figure out what is the best tire for me because I drive a lot. But it's also safety is important here. So, you know, I don't want to just buy some cheap tires that are not safe. So, um, yeah. But all right. So I think that's it for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and talk to you later.